mother is having another one of her episodes. Last night, she went to see a doll's house with a couple of girlfriends. Now she has ideas. I emerged from my stinkdom this afternoon to find that not only had she not made me lunch, which is a meal I need in order to live, but that she had locked herself in her room to weep loudly. Now it's one thing for a woman to weep, but to do so at such a volume that you could hear it through the door, that's when you know they're just doing it for the attention. Anyway, I was able to cobble together a sandwich for myself, so I'm the real hero of this story. It was a couple hours later I realized I was on a good run with my novel. I had this really interesting sentence that kept going for pages and pages, and I really thought how rare it is for me to get in the groove like that. How normally my idiot child is blasting the television. And then it dawned on me, hot cock in a rock, she never even picked up little noise in Snot Factory. So here I am, being your mother, which I know is giving you all mixed up ideas about gender while your brain is still loose and stupid. Just you remember, if you become a queer later in life, this isn't my fault. Don't you sing no songs in your nightclub act called My Daddy Was My Mommy while gazing longingly at a tangled string of pearls. Pearls are for ladies, Bojack. Pearls are for ladies. No, I just had a sandwich. No, taste it, taste it. I don't want cantaloupe now. You've never had cantaloupe like this before. I only eat, I only eat cantaloupe at certain times. Jerry, this is great cantaloupe. All right, all right. It's good, huh? It's very good. Good, huh? Yeah, good. I got it at Joe's. Get the fuck out of here. You have cancer? Maybe a little louder. You can make a special announcement. When did this happen? Yesterday, they found a tumor in my spine. Who? What do you mean, who? Who found the tumor? Lewis and Clark. <laughs> the doctor found it. What were you going to tell me? I'm telling you now. Well, if I had cancer, I'd tell you right away. What do you want, the Better Friend Award? It's not an easy topic to bring up. Holy shit. Okay, let's just relax here. I think the best thing to do is look on the bright side. The bright side of what? This is your chance to live it up. This is your chance to do all of the things you've always wanted. This is it. Plus, do you know how much pussy we're going to get? He was my best friend. Anyway, I don't know why you're pushing so hard from him. With him out of the way as my best friend, there's a spot open. Who? Me? Yeah! Oh my god, that's so nice! <laughs> and you know what I'm gonna do as the first act as your best friend? What? I'm gonna get you to talk to Chandler. All right, but if you weren't my best friend, 